Hi, I'm Christian. I'm an instructor at East Sense Yoga. And I'm going to do a short sequence here that you can practice at home along with me. So I'm going to do a mixture of standing and floor poses. So we're going to start standing, feet slightly apart, directly under the hips, hands down to the side, roll the shoulders back, shine your heart forward, take a breath, and we'll start with some pranayama. So we're gonna start bringing our hands to the heart center, press together, take a deep breath in through the nose. As you breathe out, interlace the fingers, press down, look at your knuckles. As you breathe in, raise your arms, keeping the gaze on the knuckles. When you get to the top of your breath, flip the palms, breathe out through the mouth as you press the palms together, pressing down as you cross the heart, re Lace your fingers and repeat. We'll do this a few times. This is a great sequence to do in the morning when you first get up. Get your air moving, your blood moving. Start to loosen up the spine. Once more, again, following the knuckles with your gaze. When you get to the top, take an extra sip of breath. Press the palms together, breathe out. Press all the way down, then release. Roll your shoulders back, shine your heart forward, take a breath. Now we're going to Join both hands overhead, release the index finger and the thumbs so that the thumbs are flat. And we're gonna do a crescent pose. So breathing in through the nose. As you breathe out, come down to the right, just your upper body. So you don't want your hips to shift too much off to the side. You're making this a spinal sideways stretch. As you breathe in, you might come up. As you breathe out, come back down a little bit further. Hold it, keep your breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Then as you're ready, come up. Bend the elbows, just relax the hands for a minute. Now we're gonna shift your grip. Stretch back up, take a breath in. Come down the opposite way, to the left. Again, this is crescent pose. So we want our shoulders and our hips to be aligned on the same plane, but of course your shoulders are gonna be off to one side. But try not to be your hips forward or back. One more breath in. As you breathe out, come up. Release the grip, relax your hands, come down to the side, roll your shoulders back, shine your heart forward. Now we're gonna do a forward fold and just put your hands down to, towards your feet. If you need to bend your elbows, or your elbows, your knees, go ahead and bend your knees and just hang forward, maybe grab opposite elbows and rock a little bit side to side. Then we're gonna drop the hands, come down onto your knees into a tabletop. So with the tabletop, we're gonna have our knees under our hips, our wrists under our shoulders, and a flat spine. And we're gonna do a, a um, spinal re release. This is called cat and cow. So we're gonna start by breathing in, drop your belly down, hinge your hips up, gaze comes forward and up. And as you breathe out, we're gonna round the spine up, hinge your hips forward, ears come down towards the biceps. This is the cat. Breathe in, drop back down. This is the cow. Breathe out through the nose, hinge up, 
shoulder blades should be spread apart. Breathe in, hips hinge back, shoulder blades are close together. Again, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. And again, you don't need to follow my rhythm here. You do this at your own pace. We'll do a few more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sorry, I got that backwards. We're out on the cat. Breathe in on the cow. Breathe out. And then come back to a neutral spine. So that's cat and cow, and that is just a basic spine opener. Now I'm going to show you something called a yin yasa. So this is similar to a vinyasa, but it's it's more of a yin style of practicing it. So what we're going to do, we're going to stay in this tabletop pose, take a breath in, as you breathe out, we're going to come back into a child's pose. Now as you breathe in, you're going to come forward and you're going to let your hips slip forward and come into an upward facing dog. Breathing in. As you breathe out, we're going to reverse that, bend those knees, come all the way back into a child's pose. And your child's pose can be as deep as is easy for you to do. Some people have tight hams and their hips don't come down too far, like mine are not coming all the way down to my heels. Again, breathe in, come forward into upward facing dog, breathe out, hinge back into child's pose. We'll do a few more of those, breathe in, and again, you want to let the hips just hang here, breathe out. Press back a little bit of activity. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then come back up into the tabletop. Cross the ankles and slide back over, or just kick your legs out to the side if that's your preference. Bring your heels out to the front. Sit up straight, roll your shoulders back. Shine your heart forward, take a breath. Um, let's go ahead and sit with an easy pose. And I'll do a couple more shoulder openers here. Um, this is Eagle Arms. Garudasana. So we're going to bring both arms straight up, palms face in, left hand is going to come down to chest height, right hand is going to come down and under, elbows are going to cross, so you want your elbows to cross, forearms come up, and you grab your thumb, or your finger, or your wrist, whatever you can grab. If you can't, if that's not available to you, we just grab opposite shoulders like this. And then make sure that you're still sitting with a straight spine. As you breathe in, your arms may rise. As they breathe out, just let your elbows slide down in front of your, um, your collar. What is that thing called? The solar plexus or the sternum. That's the word I was looking for. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, in through the nose and out through the nose. You should feel this between your shoulder blades. Try to release any tension along any of these muscles here. One more breath cycle here, and then we'll release. Roll the shoulders back, shine your heart forward, take a breath. Arms go back up, we'll do the other side. So this time the right arm comes down to the chest level, left arm comes under, forearms come up or grab opposite shoulders if you did that before. Maybe you can do this on this side, not on the other side. It's always different when you have one side that's tighter than the other for any kind of yoga pose. So yeah, I'm breathing in, 
through the nose, out through the nose. One more full breath cycle, then release. Let the hands come to the lap, or your shoulders back, shine your heart forward, take a breath. Now, as you're ready, go ahead and pick up both legs. Put your heels out long in front of you, or your shoulders back, shine your heart forward, take a breath. Now we're gonna pick up both knees and put the flats of the feet together. And I'm gonna do an active version of cobbler's pose here. So if you wanna pull your ankles in towards you, you can. Hold on to the ankles or the feet. And as you breathe, breathe in and then breathe out and gently pull yourself forward with a flat spine. So we're pulling ourselves down. Your elbows can go into your thighs. And then after another breath cycle, just release and make it a passive forward fold. And if your body rises and falls with your breath, that's okay. Don't try to, don't try to stay stiff. Always let your body be moved by your breath. And then as you're ready, you can press yourself back up. Slowly straightening the spine, rounding up. Roll the shoulders back, shine your heart forward, and just come into a comfortable seated posture. And that's all I've got for tonight. Thanks.